What's going on, Lunatics? Guys, as we speak, the Terra Rebels team is trying to find a way to get Luna Classic repegged to UST without the death spiral happening. And that would be an amazing thing. It would create stability in the token. It would repeg it to a dollar and it would cause price action to be much more positive. Also, Duquan has spoken and he pointed out who's to blame for everything that's happened on Luna Classic and UST. It's not financial advice, but I'm always right. Everybody listen up. Listen up. Listen up. Let's get it. Let's get it. I'm trying to put money in your pocket, that crypto wallet, that bing bada bing ching ching big profit. Big profit. Even the market sideways, I'm looking for ways to get paid. All right, guys, you can see here on the price action for Luna Classic, we are trading currently at uh, 96.97. And you can see inside this channel. And by the way, if you are interested and you want to uh, get kind of, uh, if you're doing any kind of trading with Luna Classic, I would highly recommend that you use TradingView and download at least support resistance dash dynamic to it to, to give yourself an idea of your support and resistance lines. Uh, once installed over here, uh, you can see that for the most part, uh, when trading other than these spikes to the upside or the downside based on major positive or negative news, then you channel basically within the same little parameters, uh, give or take. Uh, and then it pumps back up and this becomes your resistance line. Uh, and then this becomes your support line. And it's been channeling through here for a little while. Uh, as we zoom out, we'll start to find other lines. But generally speaking, uh, this has been a pretty consistent uh, channel for right now. You can see right now on the price action that we are about halfway through this channel. So uh, that's to the upside. So if you're looking to make a play, if you're looking to move on Luna Classic right now is not the optimal time. Optimal time is down here at 95.53 or before you get to 96. That being said, the play goes up here to about a thousand. Uh, and it seems like dropping that zero is the resistance point. So be careful in your trading, but know also where your support, where your resistance is, and look at the charts on different times and get an idea. And you can see here, uh, it doesn't even matter when the chart changes to a two hour chart. It's basically the same resistance. Uh, when you get to a bigger chart like this, uh, you don't even see resistance because there's so little trading volume at this point to try to evaluate what's going on. But when you move in on closer ones, you're still gonna see about the same level of the trading charts. And you're also gonna see a positive RSI on almost everything right now. So uh, if a little bit of pumping continues, then you're gonna see some positive price action. You might even see a breakout and a zero get dropped. Moving on. Uh, Terra Rebels are actively working on a new algorithm for Luna Classic and UST Classic swaps we'll see a huge burn of luna classic once this algorithm is in place our opinion is this will bring down the supply drastically by comparison to the 1.2 percent tax plus burn now remember the goal at the end of this is to get the the, the remaining circulating supply down to around 10 billion that's the goal think of the price action that it would take both to get it there and what the value of each token would be at that point so uh, you're looking at a significant run on price action that would happen pretty rapidly if they can repeg these together. Now, remember, uh, in the old days, <coughs> before the death spiral happened, the way that Luna Classic worked was by uh, create minting and burning. So uh, that's why it's very important in order to make the, to, to get this connection redone. It will speed up this whole process um, by a, a lot of different factors. Now, um, the last thing that I want to cover before we really talk about that is this. Uh, Do Kwan has named the person to blame for the collapse of Terra Luna in his first interview since everything happened. And he blames himself and himself only. <coughs> Do Kwan, in fact, even admitted that it was probably his vanity that caused the whole problem. He does think that there was somebody inside who may have been able to leak the information to a third party like Citadel, who made $800 million, by the way, shorting uh, Terra Luna. So obviously they had a hand in what happened. But 
Um, if he didn't have that weakness himself and hadn't created it and ignored it, then they wouldn't have had that. So uh, the point to it all is Doquan's taking accountability for what it was that he did and um, can't fix it. it. It has to move forward. So there's going to be a lot of people out there uh, crying about it. Uh, there's going to be a lot of people with extra chromosomes uh, still whining on social media. There's going to be a lot of people who lost a lot of money in the process. But listen, investment is a risk. And when you risk, uh, you sometimes risk it all. Uh, when you get rewarded, you, some get, you sometimes get rewarded uh, with countless profit. But make no mistake, if you tell me that you lost millions in millions from Luna Classic, from from Terra Luna before it became classic. If you tell me you lost millions, well, that means that you didn't cash out the millions that you had and you got greedy. And I don't know what to tell you about that. Your responsibility is to yourself and to your family to change your life. And that's what you should be doing. Moving on. All right, guys, we're going to talk about repegging Luna Classic to the UST Classic and what it means. In the old days, before the death spiral, the way that UST and Terra Luna worked was very simple. Luna was bought and traded, and then when you kept your money stabled, then you would use USTC. Now, there was an algorithm, and that algorithm was used in order to buy and sell in order to keep the UST price at $1. So what would happen is this. If a lot of sales happen at one point and the price of USTC dropped, then it would mint some Luna Classic. And when it would mint the Luna Classic, it would then sell those Luna Classic on the open market. You would see a dip in the Luna Classic price, but you would see the USTC rapidly go back to $1. Um, and you probably didn't even see it most of the time, but that was the way that it worked. And once the UST uh, got back to a dollar and there was excess, it would burn off as well. And there was a burn mechanism in place to keep both of them stable so that there were no more USTC than was being held at any time. And Luna Classic was hovering at or around 10 billion, give or take. Uh, I think it, it limited itself down to 344 million at some point which is why there was such a run on the price and it had gone up to 100. But remember, the ideal number was, was 10 billion. So that's how significant the burn was once this all happened. Now, once the repegging happens, in order for UST to pump itself to a dollar and stay in that level, it's going to have to burn and sell a significant amount of Luna Classic in order to get there, which is why the amount of burn is going to drastically increase. And those are the kind of things that we need. Those are the kind of big money solutions that we are looking for in this market. And once it happens, things will never be the same. So if you invested at the bottom, then uh, it's very possible. It's, it's possible that your life is about to be significantly different when this all comes together. The terror rebels have gone out of their way to put this broken mess back together. They should be thanked. They should be rewarded. Uh, and we'll get there. But for right now, uh, hold on tight. Keep your ears open. Listen for news. Listen for opportunities. And uh, accumulate if you need to. Accumulate if you want to. Because uh, it, it is entirely possible that this thing goes on a massive sort of run. Um, it, it's, it's always possible the wheels could come off as well. So don't over leverage yourself. Don't over invest yourself. Only invest what you can afford to lose. Uh, and remember, this is not financial advice. My name's Bleeves and I am always right. I'm trying to put money in your pocket, that crypto wallet, that bing, bada, bing, ching, ching, big profit. Even when the market's sideways, I'm looking for ways to get paid.